Bernadette Stannis. Good God. What, <laughs> what an honor. What an honor. Thank you. An honor well, to be here also. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Willie D Live. You are absolutely one of my favorite people in the entire world. I appreciate that. How are you getting along out there with the corona thing? Are you in New York? Right now, I'm in Virginia. Okay. I didn't go to my home in California because at the time, it was more cases out there. And being in my home in Virginia, I can, uh, get, I'm can i closer to my daughters who live in Nashville. Right. And I have my granddaughter who's five. She's with me. Right. Now, what are your daughters doing in Nashville? Well, in medical school. Oh, okay. Okay. And at my Harry. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So I always like to kind of get a feel when I interview people. Uh, because I, I typically I just don't really I really don't interview people that I don't really like, right? Oh really? <laughs> what? I don't. I, I don't do that. I I like to interview people that I that I find interesting and people who I admire. So, but one of the things that the commonality for me is that, that the people that I really like are people I feel like have good spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, and to have that, you know, oftentimes is connected to your upbringing. So I want to know who raised you? My mom and my dad. My um, my grandparents on my father's side was from um, Grenada Caracou from the West Indies. And um, so my father was born here in, in, well, he was born in Brooklyn. So he was uh, from the old West Indian background, but American. Right. And my mother is from Louisiana. So what the part two of, of them, that culture, both cultures together. And you know, my father always preached determination, education, you know, strive right. to be where you want to be. So, and mommy was the soft, you know, Southern belle. Well, <laughs> right. Yeah. They right. raised five children. And, and what part of Louisiana was this again you mentioned? Generet, Louisiana. Generet. That's one and of those. And my father's from Grenada, Caracou. Wow. I mean, my grandparents, my father's from Brooklyn. Actually, he's born right. in Brooklyn. But, you know, my grandparents. Mm -hmm. But you have those cross-cultural experiences yes. to bring to the table. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So let me get right to it. When did you get this acting bud? Oh, ever since I was little. I always acted. I had acting classes, drama classes, dance classes. I was always in the arts. Mother kept right. us in the arts. Right. And you have how many siblings? I have four. You have I have four two sisters. sisters and two brothers. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, as your career started to take off and they start seeing you doing things, was there any jealousy there? No, never. never? Absolutely not. Because they were in the business too. They did a lot of commercials. Okay. They did a lot of different things yes they did so they were busy um right. then they decided that some of them well they didn't really want to stay in the business so uh i have a brother who's a pastor and adopt well adoptive education i have a sister who's um a superintendent and adoptive education i have another another sister who's a paralegal and um i have a brother who is a an accountant right Nice. So we all did different okay. things. Okay, mama, mama and daddy did pretty good. Yes, they did. That, that's pretty good right there. And I thank them too every day. 